Rumbleverse, for those of you unaware, is a brand new battle royale that's available, I believe it's on console, but it's also on the Epic Game Store. I have been playing for a little while and this video is going to be the ultimate advanced Rumbleverse tips and tricks guide. I'm going to be giving you lots of juicy tips to help you out with your gameplay. As I said, it's a battle royale. You like basically customize your character and stuff. There's a season pass coming soon. And instead of guns and things like that, you do still have weapons in the form of like chairs, baseball bats. You can also pick up like street signs and stuff and smash your opponents with them. But besides the weapons, you do have basically like wrestling moves. You can do like elbow drops and stuff. And you can pick up like super kicks and things like that. It's a lot of fun. Different rarities and stuff like your typical battle royale. And the very first tip we're going to get into is when you launch out of the cannon. Because instead of like a battle bus or something like that, you launch out of a cannon onto the map. And like as you're flying across, you free fall and that's when you land. When you do land in Rumbleverse, make sure that you are landing on items. What it's going to do is those boxes are going to smash, the items are going to fall out of the box, you're going to be able to pick them up quicker. It's going to give you a head start, like picking up weapons, and there's lots of other power-ups and stuff that we'll get into. Another one is, as well as your health, that you have stamina. It drains very, very quickly. To avoid losing stamina when you're jumping off rooftops and stuff, if you land on another player, if you land on one of the targets you can find on the floor, or a crate that has items in, you will not lose a single point of stamina. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you're going to see a progress bar and it's out of 500. Some of the perks can be really helpful. If you're on PC, you can press escape or press pause like on controller. You will be able to see which perks you've got and exactly what they do. As an example of a perk that's going to help you out a lot, there's one called meditate and it's going to let you stand still and regen health without any items. Basically, you get that random perk. The perks are random. You can't choose them. You just get 500 points. You get a random perk and you get what you're given. So sometimes you can have a bad run with them. Sometimes you can have a lot of luck. There's no limit to it either. If you're down on 100 health, you can go all the way back up to 12, 13, 1400, whatever your health cap is. There are three different types of like main body power-ups. You can improve your arms, your core, and your legs. From these, you are going to get bonus max stamina, damage, and health. When you grab a bonus health power-up, as an example, not only do you raise your maximum health by 100, but you get 100 health with it as well. So make sure you're looking out for these. They look like little jugs on the floor. They will be like a reddy orangey sort of color, green and then yellow. The red is going to be your damage power up, the green is your health, and the yellow is your stamina. As mentioned about landing when you first kind of fly into the map, as you are playing through the game, there will be targets on the floor. They're not there for no reason. If you jump up into the air off a rooftop and you hold your attack button, you do a massive elbow drop, these are going to basically throw weapons and stuff out of them or stamina regen drinks. However, if you jump off and you hit a target hard enough, it will always give you a chicken so that you can regen some of your health. So it's basically like the more effort you put in, the better your reward from the target. Every weapon in Rumbleverse has something called a vicious attack, and there are different variants to the attacks. If you jump off a building and use an air vicious attack, you're going to deal huge damage to your enemy and the move isn't blockable. So you'll deal some really, really nice damage and there's nothing your enemy can do about it. Air specials as well, so not a vicious attack, but just holding down like your middle mouse button. They are going to be incredible to use against unsuspecting enemies as they are going to deal big damage as well. A sneaky little thing about Rumbleverse, a lot of players are going to sit in bushes. So you can either look for a part of a player's body sticking out of a bush but another thing is, when someone is sat in a bush, that bush is going to throw leaves out of it. So you have to pay attention to the bushes, but if there's someone in a bush, you will see leaves kind of flying around that bush. Another thing about the combat in Rumbleverse is you will get lots and lots of different combos that you can put together. And one that's going to help you out is the wall combo. When you attack someone, you can slam them into walls. However, if their body starts flashing, and it's the same for any sort of combat in the game, it doesn't have to be against a wall. But if you attack someone, their body starts flashing. That is like a brief period of invulnerability. So they cannot be hit until they land on the ground if they're on the wall or until their body stops flashing. However, if you can hit someone, like as an example, against a wall or something and their body doesn't flash you can turn this into a combo because you can just do a follow-up attack all you've got to do is time it right so you can follow it up with an elbow drop or another move so you get an extra damage you've just got to time it you've got to be patient and you just got to throw those combos together to deal damage you start off the game with a thousand health 
When someone gets low on health and they are trying to run away, they're going to quite often try climbing buildings. If you've got a weapon on you, say for an example a baseball bat, you can throw it at your enemy, it's going to knock them off the building because they cannot block when they are climbing. Another thing is they will take full damage. Sometimes you can hit them for 80 damage, they fall off a building, they're going to take a further 200 and something damage. There is also a super meter in the game, which is built up by gathering stars that you'll find around the world, and also clashing, so pulling off the exact same attack as your enemy at the same time, that's the fastest way to build it up. And when this meter is built up, you can either enter super mode and gain temporary invincibility, health regen, extra damage, all that sort of good stuff. Or if you're playing solo matches, you can keep your bar charged so don't use your super and then when you get knocked out you'll actually go down and self-revive although from my gameplay experience the super is actually way better for moves dealing damage and your health regen than self-reviving i really do not like the self-reviving it doesn't feel powerful enough with the amount of health you come back with and stuff i'd rather take the extra damage and all the like, really powerful moves over getting myself back up when you are knocked down you can press the block button you jump back up and you instantly regenerate 30 stamina which is going to be really helpful or you can press the attack button you do a recovery attack these are very very helpful they deal like 80 or 90 damage but a lot of enemies do not expect it also if you hold block when you're shield shines gold because it like you'll pop up a white shield when that turns gold you are going to regenerate your stamina twice as fast so if you've got a little bit of space you're low on stamina hold your block get your shield to turn gold you're going to regen it twice as quick if you are sprinting on a rooftop use your special at the same time as sprinting but just click it don't hold it because what you're going to do is run up to an enemy you're going to grab them swing them around and you're going to fling them forward the move has great potential to launch enemies off the roof it's going to deal big full damage to them and it's going to give you time to loot every everything that they were trying to loot and the networking absolutely sucks for rumbleverse it's just come out it's just released so there's going to be some teething problems there's no issues and stuff in the game like in terms of the gameplay as far as i've experienced but the networking isn't too great when i first launched the game it just kept popping up network connection lost i couldn't get into a match even though I was still online. And then when I tried reloading the game later on in the day, I got Q login failed and it would not stop doing it. I had to close down Epic. I had to wait like half an hour. I kept trying and it just wasn't having it. So there are some issues with the networking, but once you get into a game, I would highly recommend actually staying in that lobby. Like just press F to play again, because when I was doing that, I didn't have any problems whatsoever. But that is the ultimate tips and tricks guide for Rumbleverse. Check out this video if you want to see other content on the channel. That's going to do it for this one. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.